Dr. Good Reviews. 1957 Attack of the Crab Monsters. Hey! Welcome back, Dr. Dread Reviews. And hey, we're, we're gearing up for Halloween here, and Dr. Dread's scary house is going to be Pirates. And I thought, there's no better time to watch a movie about like a deserted island with giant mutated crabs than Halloween if your theme this year is going to be pirates. So, you know, I popped it on and, uh, you know, I really like this film. Uh, it was directed by the master of the bees. Bzzz, Roger, Roger, Roger Corman. And, uh, it was, it was written by one of uh, the people who writes often for him, and the same fella, uh, Griffith. He also wrote Death Race 2000. Huh, right? Uh, cool thing about horror movies is boom, 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 slap together, give the audience, boom, 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 give the audience what they want. The uh, movie was uh, very reminiscent of, say, uh, the, the Thing, the Howard Hawks version. Uh, being that it's a group of men, one woman, a remote location, and dealing with a monster. But there are more than just one monster on Crab Island. There's many. Crabs. Filmed in glorious black and white for a budget of around $70,000, which was slightly more than... Uh, Cost of our first house. <sighs> Many. I there are going again digressing. Filmed in glorious black and white in 1957. If you watch this film, when you watch this film, you will notice a familiar face. Perhaps two. Uh, Russell Johnson. Russell Johnson. <laughs> you know who Russell Johnson is, right? 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 You don't? Oh, I know you know where Gilligan's Island's at. That's right, Russell Johnson, the same man who played the professor. The professor on Gilligan's Island is now just a handyman on Crab Island. And everybody else is like scientific scientist. I'm not going to give too much away, but you know, what's there to give away? It's an hour and two minutes long. So, what I want you to do is watch this film. It is available to stream for free if you look for it. And, uh, you know, disregard the, uh, the low budget, uh, the huge gaping plot holes, <laughs> questions that never get answered. Throw all that stuff away. You only have to sit there for an hour and two minutes and just enjoy the crab monsters, even though they look ridiculous. Uh, this movie should also be entertaining for uh, people with short attention spans. Because, like, as soon as, the, as soon as the credits start rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling, uh, you got your first victim, boom, and then boom, and uh, enjoy Attack of the Crab Monsters. It is a classic. Uh, the leading man in this movie uh, and the female love interest, which... There's really not enough time for a love story. But uh, they both go on to star later in that same year in The Undead. Uh, this is your friend, Dr. Dredd. I would not steer you wrong for an hour and two minutes. Sit back, enjoy some cheesy cheesiness. Watch Attack the Crab Monsters. And uh, let me know what you think of this movie. I, me, I love cheese. I would give it... Top rating of four skulls. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four skulls. And they're lined up over there somewhere. Maybe over there. Uh, have a great week. I will see you next week with another movie. Hopefully a good one. If not, remember, as always, my friends, keep it scary. <laughs>